had bravely in her bosom fair. Lo Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. We train a fight which Mr. Beckwood knows are fair. And with a quality he knows is sound. I this hearty molasses and raw cane. That is it. It gladdens me to hear your sayings. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment.
Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like friends or friends again. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say, sir. All up and unfurl, boys. We're going home. Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Get on that! Stunsels! Let's ride this squall! Starboard, Captain! Some rich cargo here, sir. Trim the yards up! We must Hold on. It's trouble of fall. I see them. man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckford's and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckford's and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men close them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. The boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. The hard process making sugar. Dangerous. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers and crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, you stick like bird lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Good sail as you can!
Despite the squall picking up, Captain. Now so but me! It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. Disarray. What if it do, sir? That's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for some time. Certainly wasn't slavers, though, not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Forgive me, sir. I am fit and able. If I see any strangeness about, you'll hear the bell ringing straight away, I promise. Speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? The key, God damn it! Someone find me the key! Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. Have you heard any news about Pierre Ivan? Lord Junior, the guard in the college and such at William. Where did he find him? My coins almost out in the gun. Have you heard any news about Pierre Ivan? Nothing too bloody. Not paid to ask a question. Have you heard any news about Pierre Ivan? Nothing too bloody. Have you ever played a game of Pierre Ivan?
win. Close down, Gallant! More sail! All sail! Lose all! Hearty like! Down on land, Captain. We've been all caught. Captain Dalton himself. Now that's good. Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous, and free, and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king weren't to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. And make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat. And slow. of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil love a hurricane. Will I have a dive there one day? See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well... That's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I mostly agree. 
We'll save the clash in a cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. Easy as she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't soil your breeches, lads. I got this. That ship's a monster. Look at the size of her. Aye. And we'd not last long face to face with her. Hear that, Kenway? Leave your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors us. And the cover of darkness, most likely. Aye, it may come to that. Clear, Captain. Sir, the st Cruise up! Ease her sticks! Come off the wind, my boys! Ease her! Friend of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect you.
begin with! Ghost the gallants and royal! Ground on every inch of sail! Ride the wind, for all she's worth! Charles Vane, slinking off with his tail to his leg. That's good news for us. Bleeding bastards! We'll have to deal with this skirmish fast. Forget the galleon, and send these interlopers to hell! Not just the one shit, Captain! It is firing! Fire! Fire! We're ready, sir! Fire! Down to the tree! Fire! Down to the tree! Fire! It is firing! Fire! 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 We're ready, sir! Sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. The name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Get the mainsail into the wind! Get up those shrouds, let's move! 